The Google Maps Android API is a part of Google Play services, services that are only available on devices that have the Google Play APK or application. To build your application, you need to go get the classes that are a part of that APK. And in the early part of this course, I showed you how to download them in the SDK Manager. I'll go back to the SDK Manager by going to Window, Android SDK Manager, and scroll down to the bottom of the list and show that I have Google Play services installed. Once you have them installed, you need to import them into your workspace. I'll close the SDK Manager, and then I'll do an import. I'll select File, Import, and then instead of using the Java-specific tools, I'll go to the Android category, and I'll choose Existing Android Code into Workspace, and click Next. I'll browse for the root directory, and I'll start in the folder that contains my ADT bundle, Eclipse and the SDK. I'll go to the SDK folder, to Extras, to Google. And there's the Google Play Services folder. You need to import this file, the Lib project, and specifically the folder within it, Google Play Services Lib. Choose that folder. It should contain a .settings file and a number of folders that indicate that it's a project, and click OK. Then, check the option to copy the projects into the workspace. This ensures that you have a copy of the library rather than using the version that's a part of your SDK folder. Click Finish, and now the library is a part of your workspace. Now, each and every project that you're using to build map-centric applications has to be linked to that library. To do this, go to a project. I'm using a project called Services Library, which already has all of the permissions and the API key that I added earlier. I'll go to the project and I'll right-click on it. And I'll choose Properties. Then I'll go to Android and I'll click Add under the Library category. I'll choose my Google Play Services Library and click OK and click OK again. Now that library is available to my application. To verify that the library is working correctly, I'll declare an instance of a class that's a part of the library, named Google Map. I'll go to my main activity class in my project, and I'll place the cursor above the onCreate method, and I'll type Google Map, and press Control Space, and I see the class Google Map that's a part of com.google.android.gms.maps. I'll select it, and that adds a required import statement. And I'll name this object mmap. I'm not getting a reference to the map yet. I'm not ready for that. All I care about at this point is that I can compile and run the application with this variable declared. So I'll save my changes, and I'll run the application on my device. If it opens without crashing or throwing any errors, that means that everything is compiling correctly and the Google Maps API is available to your application and you're ready to go to the next step, adding code to your application to check the device it's running on and making sure that Google Play is available on that device.